Sure. My name is Tim Morehouse. I'm a 2008 Olympic silver medalist in the sport of fencing for the U.S. and I'm the U.S. national champion 2010, 2011 and number one ranked men's saber fencer in the U.S. I'm currently an Olympic hopeful for London 2012 but we're more than halfway through Olympic qualification and so far things are going pretty well for me. Making the Olympics is a very special, uh, very special thing. I feel very blessed that I've already been to, to two Olympic Games and um, to be able to go to London and to be a part of that Olympics uh, will be something really special. Uh, I know especially for the sport of fencing um, which is steeped in sort of a history with kings and nobility that uh, be able to fence in London um, is going to be something pretty uh, pretty magical I think. There's really nothing like the Olympic Games. Uh, I have feel like I've experienced a lot in my life but uh, the experience of being at the Olympics is just so powerful. Um, it's just an energy, like the minute you get off the plane, you sort of are enveloped in this world. I, I often describe it as like uh, Narnia, where you kind of go to this magical land, you feel like you're living you know, a lifetime in these few weeks that you're there, and uh, unfortunately, sadly, you have to go home. There's something about the Olympics that really does bring out the best in people, the athletes and the, the spectators that are there. Uh, everyone's sort of experiencing this unique thing together. Uh, there's some cool cultural things about the Olympics. Uh, pin trading is uh, a very special aspect of it. So many people uh, will trade pins, and sometimes pins can be more valuable than money at the games. So, uh, so if you uh, are into collecting things, definitely grab some pins, and uh, you'll have a fun time trading them. And you know, just go to as many games as you can. I think. Uh, you can get a lot of different tickets, hopefully to, to a lot of different sports. It's one of the unique places where you can see, you know, everything from fencing to swimming, you know, things you might not normally get a chance to see. Um, so I think, you know, it's, uh, if you're there and you got some tickets to a few events, you're going to have a great time. Each games that I've been to has been uh, very special, but different and unique. And I think, um, you know, Beijing had this largesse and amazing organization that just, you know, wowed you that you know, in opening ceremonies with, I don't know, 10,000 dancers or whatever, whatever it was that they had. Um, but I think London has this amazing history and this amazing culture. And so, um, you know, I think there'll never be another games like Beijing, but there'll also never be another games like London where you're immersed in that culture, um, where you're, again, I think seeing already the images, uh, um, of the games and the stadiums and, and the tradition of, of England, I think you can see it's going to be something really special and, and unique in its own way.